Guys, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Magic Masters Vintage Online Cube Draft 2018 with a Commander Appetizer. I don't know what that means. Um, we are currently 0-4 today. We went 0-2 in our first draft and we dropped, and we went 0-2 in our second draft and then we dropped right after yesterday's double 3 0 fiasco. Uh, the double 3 0 fiasco is also the name of my ska band, just to be clear. But, um,. Yeah, we're going to try it one more time, and we're going to see if we can uh, do a little do a little update here to our 0202 record. So, a little Commander Amu's Boosh, which is, oh, it's a very funny thing to say. Prodigious growth. We were going to all, we were all set to go into the red-white. Because that's a strong color combination that leads you to victory. There are some good cards in here. High Rancer's Cage is fantastic. Licious Caress is fantastic. Prodigious Growth, I think, just wins you games. Is, there, is my Ska Man better than Op Ivy? No, but Op Ivy is also not a Ska Band. So, uh, that's like saying, is Miles Davis better than, than the Sex Pistols? The answer is yes, but they're also not really comparable. You know what I mean? So, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Um, you should force Toblerone control. It's not actually an archetype, but still seems really good in Swiss Draft. I agree with you. I think it would probably be best in Swiss Draft, to be quite honest. And it, it sounds delicious. So even if we lose, we still win. I think it's prodigious growth. I God, I really... So, yeah, I'm Frank Lepore. Yeah, wow, God, he's so good. That's such a good impression. If you guys don't know Admirable from uh, from his Hearthstone casting... God, you guys should really check it out, because he just does impressions of me the entire time. I'm going to take growth. Psychic Symbiont. Nailed it. Did it every time. Never, never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Did it do. Did it do. Did it do. Did it do. Op Ivy is Ska Punk? Ah, is that true? I don't... Hmm. Thank you. I, uh, okay, all right. I guess, yeah. All right. Interesting. Untram Tuna with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Good luck, sub. Let's uh, let's hope it works out. I'm going to take Rejuvenator. We're going to go Sultai. There is no other card in this pack that I actually like over Rejuvenator anyway. This is the worst Scepter. I think Chaos and uh, this the Oxen Scepter is better. <laughs> Why can we ever get the green-white one? I think this one's better. I've had the green-white one plenty of times. The problem is it forces you to play green... Or not green-white, green-blue. And I don't actually think green blue is that great of an archetype in this format. I'm just going to take another Rejuvenator. Because we can just ramp into, into six mana and then just have an 8-8 Rejuvenator. So much Rejuvenation. Such Rejuvenation. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Starcrown Stag seems pretty good. Thornhide Wolves, Starcrown Stag, and Reassemb Reassembling Skeleton are th three cards that I'm looking at here. Green Screen Mountain Dew? Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. Look at it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Mountain Dew technology is so advanced. I'm going to take Stag. I think it's the best card in that pack. And uh, 
we have no real reason not to. Boy, this is real tempting. Actually, Seder Enchanter could be a could be a card in our deck. We could just be Seder. We could just be green, white, splashing, blue, black. <laughs> oh, fan fantastic! I think this is the pick though. We do have a prodigious growth already, and if we get any armor of thorns, it just draws us cards. It's a two-two for three. It's not a super impressive stats, but uh, it could do some things. I also think it's worth noting that that's probably the best card in that pack. Yeah, I want to take Oracle. Five drops go up in value once you have multiple three mana rampages. We could also take this because it does help us cast this and we have double rejuvenator to hit it. And we could just do four or five color green. Which I really don't mind. At least if we do four or five color green, like, I feel like I'm not trying to draft a good deck. And at that point, when I lose, it's less frustrating because I'm just like, well, we were just doing this for the memes anyway, so that's okay. Um, I'm going to take Meandering River. And now we're going to take Talents. I think Talents is extremely underrated in this format. And this is after having having disliked it for a while and then having played it for a bit. Giving all of your big, dumb green idiots uh, Trample and plus one, plus one is really strong. Like, even giving this guy, making this a 4-4 Trampler, all of a sudden it's just very, very hard to, to block. I keep forgetting the mono in green. I think you're right. Daybreak Champion plus uh, Prodigious Growth is is pretty OP. I don't know if you guys knew that. All right, well, we're doing it. We're doing it. Wow, I feel like we're look at we're three hundred forty four subs. Like we hit three hundred fifty today. That's unbelievable to me. I'll take this. I don't like it, but I'll take it. Ugh. Yeah, I thought that was a late make a stand too. I was like, well, that's pretty that's pretty strange. We could just be green white too. Even putting a talons on this guy, two four lifelinker, and the talons comes back if it dies. That's fine. I'll take that. Yeah, sure. My sideboard is so revitalized. We're gonna put you over here. Just in case. This is a this is a 10-13. 10-14? That's a 10-4 good buddy oh we're definitely playing that guy oh boy that's a planeswalker yeah that's a pretty easy pick so we're just bant i guess and then we're gonna splash black for the uh for this guy okay another symbiont my god my god How, how greedy are we going to get here? Knight of the Tusk is kind of poop. Could be Angel. I don't think we have the creatures for the Angel deck yet, though. Could be Deckhand, but I don't really want an early blue card. Oh, God, I really just want one of these two. These are the better cards in the pack. I don't think our white cards are great. We do have this and this and this, which is kind of a combo. I'm going to take this. We're going to be so greedy. I'm going to take all the lands that are on color, though. All the on color lands. I'm also going to take all the, uh, all the manaliths I can find. And before we don't see another on color land, they're all going to be red. They're all going to be mono red lands. A 
I'm pretty sure Angel is the correct pick here. I don't think Mirror is a terrible option. Druid of Horns is good. I wish it was whenever you cast an aura spell. I, don't, I wish you didn't have to target this. Because I really don't want to put things like Talons of Wildwood on this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Angel here. The Angel hair. Luminous Bonds. Alright, now we're talking. Probably better than Manolith. We could also... Uh, we could also cut the blue if we have to. I don't feel great about it, but... Of course you don't feel great about it. It's got a Tezzeret and two Psychic Symbionts. Eh, it's probably Gallant Calvary here. We're still leaning towards green-white here for obvious reasons. Snapping Drake, a Johnny's Pride mate. We have a Chaplain, and we don't have a ton of life gain right now. I guess we could get it. What are my favorite jams? I don't. I mean, I, I, I my musical taste is extremely eclectic. Well, that's pretty good for the life gain. I think it's actually looking pretty good right now. I would definitely still splash Tezzeret in the green deck, especially because we have ways to get uh, fixing. We could take. I think Essence Scatter is obviously the better card, but I don't think we're going to be that heavy blue. He says with the double blue card, with the double blue Tesseret in the deck. It's a lot of Salvenger of Secrets late. Actually, we can probably play one of these guys at this point. Green doesn't appear to be very open. Actually, green. Maybe our green sucks. Maybe we are. Oh, we've got that double rejuvenator, though. Like, that feels good. Our green is pretty bad, though, outside of this prodigious growth. What if this is more to our more to our deck? What if we're blue-white splashing the black cards? That seems pretty okay. This deck actually seems better. Okay, that's enough Knight of the Tusks. Chaos Wand. Take Vengeance. You take that back, less than green and amazing. Okay. I can get behind that. Sleep. It's either Sleep or Chaos Wand, I'm pretty sure. Or some of the other strong color combinations lately I've been drafting red, white, and it goes well, but I don't think I'm going to get away with that for. Um, the thing is, like, I have no idea. I, I I feel like I've been drafting pretty inconsistently just so I can see what does and doesn't work. I, I actually like Chaos Wand a lot. I think some people... I think Sleep is also pretty busted. I want to take the Chaos Wand, though. Does Archer do anything for this deck? It's probably just Gallant Cavalry, especially with Angel, and if we want to get more Angels, that's pretty good. Send me an angel. Oh... 
Uh, I definitely don't think Chaos Wand is a sideboard card. That is definitely not my experience with the card. Even if you hit two spells off of it, it's a two for one. And it's pretty uncommon you don't hit two spells in any deck. I almost wish this was called Arms from um, Call the Cavalry, called Arms, whatever whatever the card was called from Dominaria, because then you can get it back with Salvager of Secrets. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to take the cancel. Uh, I don't think we want a double blue card in this deck just yet. Wow, every single draft we end up seeing this guy. It's actually pretty amazing. Well, we could actually be Bant here and take the Skyrider Patrol. And that does let us play Prodigious Growth over the Symbionts. And it does give us more creatures. I think that's actually probably better. Then the deck looks more like this. Yeah, this card's definitely the pick, I think. Liliana's contract, huh? Probably stag number two. Actually, it might be angel number two. I also don't like salvager in here. Like, we just have nothing to get back. Literal, actual literal nothing, I think. Make a stand is like our only card. Rustwing can get out of here too. This deck's kind of all over the place. I'm gonna take the angel here. I think we're just taking Tranquil Expanse. I like Spores a lot, but... I really don't want to branch into a fourth color. Actually... I think it's actually Regal Bloodlord. I mean, I, I don't want to branch into a fourth color, but... I think we're going... I think we're just going ham here. Wow! <laughs> What? Hey! How many Psychic Symbionts is too many? Also, this is a second Gigantosaur, just to be... Just to be clear. This deck is gonna be... This is this deck is insane. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Aviator and Tezzeret's pretty good. Maybe the green is off again. I think Knight is actually fine. I, the only thing I don't like about Knight is that it's double green, but... <sighs> is this the same sleep? The sleep came back? Oh, wow. That's pretty ridiculous. That's that's not really that's not really an okay thing to happen. Uh no, I played Sultai Eldrazi at the at the Pro Tour. Woodland Stream's pretty good, and it's kinda convinced me to drop the black for the green. The black cards are very good though. Tranquil Expanse, also helpful. Alright, well now we're just playing everything. Alright, this deck is going to be actually ridiculous. Tusk can come out. Um... I 
growth is a pretty much a bomb. And I do want Centaur Courser over something else. I might just take the sleep out. It's double blue. I mean, like, Tezzeret's already hard enough to cast. We do have two blue lands, though, I guess. I think Regal Bloodlord is really good because we have double Daybreak Chaplain. So, basically, just if we can get some... And Diamond Mare. So, like, anytime we play a spell, we get a Vampire. And being able to have, like, a couple black sources in the deck should not be too hard. This deck is utterly ridiculous, and I don't actually think we're going to win many, if any, games. Yeah, I think Cutting Sleep is actually totally fine. And I was actually going to put in Courser just because it's another guy. Um, or we could actually just play 18 lands. I can see playing 18 lands in this deck. 1, 2. This is 4 green sources. 6 white sources. 7, 8 white sources. Uh, three, four, five. So 25, we get 15, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We get one more. So this is six green sources, which is good because while we don't have many green sources, we do want to re hit rejuvenators. Uh, three black sources should be fine, especially with two rejuvenators. Green is a splash, but green actually helps us get our rejuvenators online. Uh, so three, four, five blue. It's rough because of Tezzer at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, and then seven white, which is kind of where you want to be. I guess we can actually go to six white, add another blue, because we do have one, two, three, four, five, six blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I I don't love our mana base, but I think it's actually fine. Like, we don't have very many double cards. We have, like, three double cards. We have a Tezzeret. Actually, we have two. We have Prodigious Growth and Tezzeret that need two of the same color mana. So. I think that's actually good enough. Also, if we lose... So be it. Are you doing okay? I'm a bit concerned. Why would you be concerned? This is like the... Uh, this is the best deck we've drafted today. Let's join the old match. <sighs> I'll keep the sand. Any land we can play Chaos Wand. Any white we can play. I'll say you too. I don't know you, but I, you know, I assume it's nice to be paired against you. This deck is currently undefeated. That is correct. That is correct. Oh, second angel. All right. 18 lands. Don't forget. Could have really used one of those. Rupture Spire would be MVP in this deck. Any land. It's going to be a tap land. That's not a tap land at all. Two point life swing. Got him. Already winning. Any land we can play this. Any black land we can play this. And any other land we can play these guys. So. can't oh it's one of those days guys one of those days all right we're doing it are they missing a land drop or is it nope it is what in the it's just a mirror match the four color mirror match 
seems good. Blue lands and black lands are what we're looking for here. Two Angels and a Vampire was the name of my goth band in high school. So. Two Angels and a Vampire Engine was the name of my uh, industrial band. So. They were similar, but they, you know, they had different properties. One time. Well, it was not a blue, nor was it a black. But it was a land, so now we got Angel on, on board. I will block and I will assume that you have a uh, very solid sure strike slash top. Oh, I just died. Okay, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody goes to the trash can. That guy's fine. Wow, this mana base is... I'm envious of this mana base. One, two, three, four, five. Any blue land, we can play this. Any black land, we can play this. Any any land in general, we can play this. So... They can double block here, which is fine. We kill them both. And if they want to just trade here with like a Highland game, that's also fine. Yeah, I'm okay with all these things. Don't be down in your trash can, man, guys. Well, I don't know what those are. I'll just take it. I'll go to 19. Oh, God. What the hell is this? Oh, that's not... Jesus, look at these. Look at this mana base. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Uh, six, seven, eight. This guy becomes an eight, ten. Or we could just put it on here, make it an 8-8 eight, eight flyer and attack for, for a million. Hmm. If they block, they're going to 16. If they block here, they go to 14. I mean, I doubt they have main deck plummet. All this, I mean, like, putting on here gives them one turn to break out. They do have, like, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 power on board. If they happen to have inspired charge, it's 18. They can't double lightning access unless they have a double cast. Yeah, but we don't need time to do for, the, for Tezzeret to do some work if we just win in two turns because we have a 10-10 flyer. Like, it literally just wins this game next turn. <sighs> All right, let's see what happens. I mean, they could play sleep if they don't, if we don't lifelink and kill us. But like, if we have this in eight ten, and they play, and they just they just double block with these guys, like it's just not even a thing. Um, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The problem is if we block here and kill this, which like if they have recollect, or like macabre waltz, they can get this back and kill this. And I think we actually just want to not have that happen. I think we just go to seven and be okay with being at seven. All right, that doesn't do it. Oh, boy, that'll do. All right. Sometimes you just win the game in two turns. That's pretty cool. All right.
I do kind of like sleep against them. We have currently won more games with this deck than we have all day. So, <laughs> keep that in mind. I think we're good like this. I wish we had more removal because they have a lot of big guys. This hand seems pretty good. I'll keep it. It's got a lot of our colors. Okay. Big Tez. We got the three, four, five, six drop if we can hit a second blue and a black. That's all we really want. Druid of the Cowl. Like Batman. Well... Psychic Symbiont online. It's, all right, next turn, uh, the old looks like looks like Raymond for a turn for uh, Colossal Dreadmaw, which is going to be hard to deal with. And then we see a swamp. That's interesting. Oh, no, it's not. They had like a million different colors in game one, didn't they? Who needs the quickie mart? I do. Yeah, that is actually not the most uh, impressive five drop you could have mustered. Did he say mustard? Uh, all right, this guy. Uh, they were missing a swamp, but they also had rupture spire, so that wasn't really an issue. Okay, okay. Well, I feel like we just want a Chaos Wand here, to be quite honest. I guess we can wait. Can't Tezzeret yet, can't Psychic Symbiont. I'd rather play these two uh, when we have six mana. I think, I think Chaos Wand could be strong here. Oh man, if they have Cleansing Nova, that'd be utterly insane. Their deck does not strike me as a Cleansing Nova deck because they have a million creatures. That's hilarious. They literally have no spells. Did they just like board all their instants and sorceries out? That's hilarious. What sick tech. I get to see their whole deck. Dreadmaw, Palladium Wars, Dreadmaw, Vigilant Baloth, sure. And it's not bad. It's definitely not a bad uh, choice to make there. And they have five cards in hand. They also have a lead and war leader. Their deck seems great. Good lord. <laughs> also a psychic symbiont. Oh boy. How many dreadmaws is this? One, two, two dreadmaws that we can see. Two thornhide wolves. Yeah.
Well, now we know we can easily board this out. Hmm. They can also have like two um, two instants or sorceries in their deck and just have them in their hand right now. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have some kind of pump spell that makes this a complete and utter blowout. Probably inspired. If they had inspired charge, they just attack with these guys too, right? Interesting. Pegasus Courser. That was an interesting attack. I really wish we hit a fifth land here, a sixth land here, so then we can actually play all three of these guys. And then next turn it just makes our <clears throat> angel significantly better. I suppose we'll take five here. Where am I? It's a sixth land. Again, we can just play Daybreak Champion and, and Snapping Drake, which, again, makes our... Who needs the Quickie Mart? I do. Seems fine. EOT something, huh? Plummet. Seems good. Any land here, any untapped land, and we got this Psychic Symbiont. Anyone at all. Oh, they were missing red, I guess. So that's, that's their mountain, I suppose. Go to four. Lava Axis? <laughs> lava Axe just sitting in your hand? Oh god, it is, it's gonna be a Lava Axe. Sarkon's Unsealing. Well, that is... Pretty unsettling. More like Sarkon's Unsettling. There's a Plummet in the graveyard. I guess they were just holding that in hand. Got rid of that. Okay, well. I guess hope you just don't draw a four power creature. Yeah, so now we're bringing, taking out the Chaos Wand, bringing in Naturalize, because they have Colossal Majesty and Sarkons on Ceiling. And, you know, lesser, uh, lesser offensive things like Manolith. Probably never killing a Manolith, though, if, if we have the option. Oh, no attacks here. All right, everything's coming up Millhouse, apparently. Interesting. All right, floaters on deck. Juan does give us an artifact for Tezzeret. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's play this.
Uh, we actually have two artifacts. Yeah, I'll make an artifact here. We might just draw two next turn, because that's pretty strong. Always yes, always yield. Are we actually coming back into this game? Sarkhan's unsealing is super scary. They can kill Psychic Symbiont. We have to block Thornhide Wolves. This is the turn where we're like, we feel like we're coming ahead, but now they're just like, I'm going to draw six drop now. Okay, cool. Just on time. It always happens. I mean, play the unsealing doesn't actually trigger everything, right? It's 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 got have power seven or greater and everything only has... That, don't, that doesn't look like they have anything with seven or greater, so it's not going to wipe our board. They're just going to shoot one thing. I would imagine it's Psychic Symbiont or just shooting our face. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Not ideal, but we can still block the Thornhide Wolves here. Probably not taking five, <laughs> leaving us dead on board too. <clears throat> Luminous Bonds might be nice. You can put on the Dreadmaw and actually get some profitable attacks in here. Take Vengeance on the Drake, sure. Yep, had a feeling it would be a land. <sighs> I think we're actually dead. If we don't actually cast something against this, because like we if we we can't actually block this guy, so we block here for one. We take we're actually dead if we don't draw a card here, and it's a land. Okay, well we had a good run there, so let's try again. Naturalize comes in, chaos wand comes out. Yeah, sleep is. I think sleep is actually too strong to not have in the deck. Yeah, so they had two spells for it, but uh, they were just both. Yep, cool. You know what? This is actually a great hand. I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep that guy too. Uh, can't see any situation where we're boarding in a two blue spell and taking out a two, uh, taking out a planeswalker. That seems pretty rough. What happens when you reach a sub goal? I have 350 subs. That's what happens. I mean, I don't have any like thing planned. Like, it's it's hard to. I don't. I, I have no idea what people would want. I could do something, but I don't know what people would would want or expect from that. I, it's just a personal goal, and like I'm trying to hit 500 in total, uh, because Twitch actually gives you a larger percentage of your subs of your sub uh, income, and you hit 500. So that's the that's the goal, the short term goal. But um, yeah, there's no real. It's just a personal goal. Like that's my 24 hour stream is probably not in the in the in the cards i just don't think they're fun and they actually are uh pretty exhausting pretty mentally and emotionally draining and magic online is not really a game you can stream for 24 hours without losing a a good portion of what you're putting into it so a green shirt stream sounds pretty pretty sweet i could definitely see that Actually, I mean, this this is looking out pretty... Like, if we draw a, a two a two or three white card, we can go Diamond Mare name white, make a bat, play another thing. Speedrun Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. That sounds fantastic. 24-minute stream? Okay, so I hit 350, and then I do a 24-minute stream, and then I just leave, and then I just dip out, and I'm like, thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it.
I actually do kind of like wearing like a green bodysuit and just my just my face will be visible. It might be the creepiest thing ever, right? That would be amazing. Yeah, that card's good. But I'm not terribly concerned with it right now. Angel doesn't really do anything right now. Hungry Howie's pizza fight in a pool of marinara, Mike versus Mike. Wow. No one wants to see that. God, why is it a 4 4? I'm going to play this. I think it's better in the long term. And we have double angels, so back to back angels seems good. We also only saw Plummet and Take Vengeance. Oh god, if they take Vengeance or Regal Bloodlord, if they just happen to have their one removal. I guess they also have Plummet. Alright, well, whatever. Well, this is interesting. Like, we know they don't have tricks so like yeah I'll just trade a gallant cavalry for a leon and war leader that seems like a really good trade for us also their lands are literally five dual lands that's crazy this doesn't look like a way to kill this guy so that's pretty nice oh that's obnoxious that's hard to deal with rabid bite like I'll board my rabid bite back in Nope, not a rabbit bite. It's just take vengeance. <sighs> Never fails. <laughs> Literally, like, oh boy. I do not drink. I have no desire to drink 35 shots or eat 350 chicken nuggets. I really don't want to do anything that uh, is detrimental to my health. That seems like it would be less fun for me. I mean, I'm not really straight edge. I just don't drink because I don't really enjoy the taste of alcohol. You guys are making a lot of... You guys, there's a lot of interesting suggestions going on in the chat here. Suggestions and claims. Uh, you can pay me regardless and then I won't have to risk my health. So that seems, that seems better to me. But, I mean, you know. What do you guys want to do? That's pretty good. Sometimes you just need to draw two cards a turn. Guess we're taking that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, well, that's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Angel of sometimes you just want an angel of the dawn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. So you drew the plummet too, huh? That's pretty good. So you drew plummet and take vengeance. Yeah, that seems pretty cool. All right, well. 
one healthy Frank bug. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. So you have two removal spells. You drew both of them. Seems good. What's a cloakzy brother? I have no idea what that is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to take six here and go to eight. To the best of my knowledge, you have no other... Oh, vomit. Well. Presume you're going to make an angel now. Did I say angel? I meant dragon. You know what I meant. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. I mean, when you, draw, when you have two removal spells in your entire deck and you draw both of them every single game, it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible. 750 for rent is pretty cheap when you split it with three people. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it's, it also includes uh, utilities and things, so. You can kill my horse. Yeah, peace out, man. You sound like a real idiot. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, boy. What can we draw that actually wins us the game here? Mega Stand is gone. I mean, I'd probably spend about $200 every Hearthstone release just because I want to be current. Because uh, that feels relevant to me. Yep. Sleep would win us the game. A Johnny's Pride Mate doesn't do shit. Alright, cool. Next card, Sleep. No. 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 Luminous Bonds would have also done it. All right, well. I will keep this hand. I will keep this monstrosity of a hand. We have, I mean, white is our most represented color, so. Oh, a green into a blue would just be fantastic. Yeah, timeout being a game lost, or timeout being a draw just doesn't make any sense because you both have individual clocks. Like, if someone runs out of time, how could they both... Like, if you were losing, then you could just choose to run out of time and draw the game. Like, it just wouldn't make any sense. So you actually... Cause, because you have your own clocks, you're, you're responsible for your own time management. All right, well. 18 lands. Missed two land drops. Good times, good times. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Just had the best three hours I've had selling business on weekdays since I started. Less than three hours, and I'm already over 200. Wow, that's pretty good, buddy. Summer is, uh... Yep, I'll just play this guy. I guess what we got. White, white. Blue, blue, blue. I'm still going to name white. We have the, the most white cards. And if we only hit white land and black land, we can still play all the white cards in our hands, so... 
Minionod, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. One land, please. One time. Just any land. Magic Online, you can eat my ass. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Take 10. God, I can't even handle it, man. Unbelievable. <sighs> Jesus. Why? <laughs> well, this is very important. Fantastic. Oh, God, unbelievable, man. 18 lands and I missed four land drops. Like, come on. Are you serious right now? I'll take six. Joke's on you. I have double titanic growth in my hand. Yes, add quite. Yeah, we're done. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, cool. No lands. Unbelievable. Yep. <laughs> Eat my ass, bitch. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's okay. It's only the difference between 10 life. It's okay. We're having a good time. Everybody's having fun. It's okay, guys. We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. I will play first. I have no doubt we're going to win this draft in the next two rounds. No doubt. I don't have a doubt in my mind that we are going to 2-0 the remaining rounds. <sighs> 10 more Aspids. <laughs> Fantastic. Keep them coming, guys. Keep those Aspids coming. Good times, good times. Everyone has the Rupture Spire but me. Okay, well, all right. Green, green, blue, blue, and one white card. But we can play the white card, so we're still going to name white. Matthew, on Patreon, I have it at 40, um, which seems to get a good amount of, of hits. And uh, normally, I, it's, normally I have it listed as 50. So, I mean, it's just a Patreon discount because of the consistency. But no land. 18 lands. Missing land drops every game. Good times. One land, please. One time. Just yeah. any there land. There we go. <laughs> Magic Online, you can eat my ass. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's funny. That's funnier after having having reviewed it. Get all of. <laughs> I can't. Oh, crying out loud. How many till it makes? <laughs> oh, what is even going on here? Oh, you guys are fantastic. Oh my god. This is just great. This stag is dead. Oh, just a little rocks oracle. Okay. A little pizza man. Hot and fresh. What is this link? Do I want to know? Oh, deck size 40, 18. I total land cards in deck 18, right? All right, turn three. Possibility of making a land drop by turn four. 76% and we missed. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Are you going to all you got to do is ask, Fitz. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm a fan. Who's hungry? That's also good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I guess we're just going to play double Daybreak Chaplain. These Daybreak Chaplains are usually just meant to hold down the fort while we draw our bigger cards. Uh, well, But, but if you don't draw any lands to play your four, five, five, six, six drops, they don't really have the same effect, do they? I feel like if we can just hit lands, I think we're good. If we can't, really? All right. I'll trade a Daybreak chapl Chaplain for a Rocks Oracle. So it's turn seven. 18 lands. What is the probability of hitting your fourth land drop by turn seven? That's what I want to know. It doesn't say that. Hmm. All right. So just to be clear, um, I feel like the deck can actually perform if we're able to hit even the most generic of land drops. Any Even a wastes here would let us play double angel back to back. Any blue source lets us play either of these guys. Any green source lets us play this. Like, hmm. Fifth land is what I meant, not fourth. Fifth land. Sure. But you wanted to play four. What does it have to do with anything? We're, we haven't hit a fifth land. It has nothing to do with the, 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 color, the number of colors. It has to do with the quantity of lands that we're hitting. Oh, a wall of vines. A wall of vines. Another another card that's not a land. Okay. Well, turn eight. 18 lands in the deck. Cannot hit a fifth land. Did you hear Ryan's land exam? He almost asked. That's fantastic. You guys are amazing. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You guys are like my... My beautiful little children. Nikolai Bolas, what's going on? That's a good name. That's a great name. I'm going to assume your last three cards don't utterly blow me out here. I bet they do. I bet one of them does. It didn't. I'll trade a Stag and a Gallant Cavalry for, for these two cards. I mean, you get this back, but your board is much more emaciated now. I'm pretty sure if the if my if my own language saying ass didn't get my video demonetized, which it shouldn't. That's a pretty uh, that's a pretty harmless one. I'm pretty sure the chat's really really trying to get get up to that point. Oh my god! Oh, 
Are we still in it to win it? You mean D mode? <laughs> I don't know what that what's that referencing, but Oh, demote as in demonetized. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually real funny. I'm a big fan. Nicola Bose, thank you so much for saying so. I did not know you made some content. I'll check out YouTube. With a name like Nikolai Bolas, it's really hard to uh it's hard to not check that out. Wait, are we in what? I've lost track of what we're getting into. What are you saying right now? Yeah, demote is demonic tutored, but I said demonetized. And Hossmania made the joke that, that you can also say demode for demonetized. Because that's funny. That's a little meme. Oh, I see. How luminous. Oh. How nice. Give me one green mana so I can put it on this. Oh, that doesn't even do anything, really. Comically, that does nothing. I'll take three here. Thank oh my god. Oh my god. And thankfully we have a good amount of uh chump blockers. Thank you. Undrum Tuna, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Oh boy. I'm gonna play this. I guess we're just chump blocking forever and hoping that their last card isn't the Talons of Wildwood. And um Well. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we do not have the requisite 10 power on board that we're going to need. I'm going to choose to chump block with a creature. Oh my god, we're at 346? What is even happening? I can't even handle this. I can show you the world. Putting this on. Oh, they got the stupid wall of vines? Dang it. Oh, dang it. Uh, it doesn't give vigilance, right? One, two, three. We can actually play this. Put a little, put a little flight on you. We can also play Psychic Symbiont. That does give us another blocker attack for two. What do we have to do to make this lethal? We gotta deal like a million damage, right? Gallant Cavalry gives us a bunch of blockers. <laughs> Little did I know when I logged in today, I was going to be donating bits for an ass comment. Love your streams. Fantastic. Yeah, let's Symbiont. That seems better here. In response, Plummet. I may be 400 by Halloween and 500. Wow, that's, that's ambitious. You really have an instant... That's cringy, dude. <laughs> we drew an art. We drew a card that that relies on artifacts. Oh, they have this guy. It doesn't even matter. Oh god, this is just ridiculous, man. Although now we do have this in hand, so that's cool. I can show you the world. We actually don't want this guy ever to fall off the board because uh, once it falls off the board, then they get the wild the talons back and they get to put it on the gigantosaur. <sighs> yeah, I think killing their own talons would have been pretty epic there. Sh 
shining, shimmering, splendid. Do, 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 do. We're going to have to put this on the Daybreak Chaplain. Okay. One, two. Yes. Put it on you. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. So we can actually attack with both. We can block here. Uh, or we can double block here and just take ten. We're probably not doing that. This actually stops the block, the attacks here, and it probably stops the attacks here. So I'm actually just going to pass. I had a friend of Jasmine and Tokyo. That's actually awesome. Those are great jobs. Really? Oh boy. Cause it's you and me and the brown flag three to nine. That worked out for us. All right, so we're gonna play this. Now we can play Angel of the Dawn and put a counter on a thing, or we can play Rejuvenator and put a counter on a thing. I think we're going to a point where putting a counter on thing is pretty relevant. One, two, three, four, five. Like we just have to navigate this game in such a way that this guy is irrelevant. Irrelevant. Last, let your heart decide a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. All right, I think we're doing okay here. The thing is, we get to go to 18 life this turn. And with all the flyers we have, we might be able to just uh, kill them. Like, we can actually just take 10 this turn. This is an easy block. I, I doubt they're attacking with Greenwood Sentinel. And I'm pretty sure we're just... I don't understand this Greenwood Sentinel attack here. Oh, it's because you can you can put the other thing on there. That's fine. Yeah, going to 11 is fine here. Yeah, they're going to get back the Talons and then... <laughs> Alright, I actually think we win here. Uh, short of them having something, I think this is actually game. Um... I wish we had another green source, but uh, I think this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12. It actually puts them to 1. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, Actually, we can put it on here, right? 3, 4, 5. They go to 8, and then this is 10. But then they just double block here. Kill both of the things. We gained 10, so we're definitely alive. Um, but... No, we can't actually play this this turn. We just have to survive one more turn. So we're definitely going to, we're going to 15 here. We can chump block one of these two. So our Rejuvenator is going to chump block whichever one doesn't have the Talons on it. We'll take 11. Yeah, I think we can actually attack with two. We want to attack with the two things that can get rid of this Wall of Vines is really the thing. Um, because we want to actually put them low enough to kill them with prodigious growth. Okay, okay. One, two, three, Rejuvenator. Uh, 
Um, yeah, definitely river here. Yeah. All right. So, like, if as long as we can block one of these gigantosaurs, which shouldn't shouldn't be a problem, they have to have two removal spells. They also didn't get talons back at the end of the turn. What's up, Bruno? Oh, down to three forty-six. Four away. Did we were we, were we three away? Now we're four away. I don't know. Sure. Well, now we know the two blocks are going to be. This is aggressive. Block one, block two. Take seven. Prodigious growth your face. I think this is... I think this is this is game. I'm gonna put it on here if they have plummet. I don't want to really deal with that. So if their last card just happens to be a plummet. And it does not. All right. Wow, I thought that was game three. Boy, this is exhausting. All right, so we did see... Wow, double, double, double 10-10 ten, ten green guys. That's pretty hard to deal with. And they have an invoke. Crying out loud. I mean, naturalize seems fine, but like it only kills Blanchwood armor that we saw. I mean, what do we see? We saw Talons and Blanchwood armor, right? What do we see other ones? Did we see a? Oh, they they put a bonds on our guy. Yeah, that's true. I like Naturalize. I do like Totally Lost. Um, <sighs> Double Blue for Sleep is a little rough, but... This is 42. I'm probably just going to cut down to 40. <sighs> 41. Especially with 18 lands, I think it's fine. I like Engineer a lot with Tezzeret, because then you can start making guys, but... I'll take out the Courser. I don't love it, but I think it's fine. I think we want Rejuvenators more than Courser. Uh, this is actually a keepable hand, which I'm surprised. Ideally, we'll be able to draw more lands, but... You know. We'll see how Magic the Gathering Online wants to, wants to play it. Oh. Well then, I might just want to lead with Daybreak Chaplain because it might be able to get in there and make the Ajani's Pride Mate bigger on turn three. But it depends on what they play as well. If they play nothing, we're probably leading with Daybreak Chaplain. Did they miss a land drop? Oh no. I can show you the world. You guys got Disney songs stuck in my head. It's unfortunate, but I guess there are worse things a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. All right. Pride Mate seems like he's online. No, no dagger back basilisk. That's all. That's all I want to say. Okay. I don't know if... What's the instant speed nonsense? What could they have here? Oh, that was a good draw. 
Wow, we have it all now. They gotta take vengeance, I guess. Which makes me almost want to keep up Gallant Calvary, or uh, Make a Stand, but I think that's also pretty bad. They also don't have any white currently, so not sure it's something we can really worry about. They did have white. Yeah, they had white. They had bonds and vogue, stuff like that. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well. Okay. Well, that was a game. Let's. Was there anything we want to change about this deck? About this. Uh, let's take out the chaos wand. Uh, I think it's actually. I don't think. I don't think chaos wand is. Chaos wand is great. <laughs> in the two color decks, I think in, in this deck we're just too busy trying to do other things. Um, I think I'd rather just have a card like this in the main deck. Wow, I didn't, we have 18 creatures. I didn't think we had 18 creatures. That's a lot. Oh boy, white is our most represented color. I'm going to keep this hand. If we hit a white source, we got a lot of things to do. Um, hmm. Well, assuming we do hit those lands that we were talking about, we can actually play that, which is pretty good. Wow, it's far artifacts for days over here. Okay. Still no white sources. Not ideal. Okie dokie. How about a white source? A black source. Okay, that's two out of three. <sighs> Tether, it's not even great here now. They just deal at four. Like, we go to six and then they deal at four. We guess we block here. Eh, it's actually not terrible. Presuming the, the green-black deck doesn't play another card. Yeah, it looks like they didn't, actually. All right. Maybe we just tether it here. It's weird. And if they want to spend three mana gargoyling, I'll just block. And then we just... Tether just breaks even every turn. Yep. Oh, I'm actually not going to block that. Tezzer can go to five. I'd rather have the Thopter online to block both of these later in the game. Wow. Really? <laughs> sure. Oh, boy. Well, this is our this is our life now. Lich's caress. No, not a Lich's caress. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I wonder if we should just put them on a three turn clock. I don't think so. If they like can't deal with this, then we just get. Oh, do we just get to trade for um, Titanic Growth here? Okay, that's fine. <sighs> is this real life? <laughs> I can't even tell if this is real life or not. I'm just done. I'm just absolutely done. Three, oh, we drew all three of our swamps before we hit a single white source. Sure. What does command clip do? 
Uh. I will keep this hand. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Good to know. I had no idea. All right. White. Okay, still nothing to do. Come on, lands. What is what is even happening right now? So any lands that don't come into play tap, let us play these two in a row, which is pretty good. I feel like we're in we're in good shape right now. Yep, don't care about that. Land? Wow, what a time to be alive. <clears throat> And we get to gain a life here. Oof. Yeah, there's no benefit to attacking here. They just block with Mare and Knight. Mare and Skeleton. And then we just lose a Knight. And they get to get back to Skeleton at some point. Bloodlord first. Yes, that is correct. Thank you. <laughs> Why would I not play Bloodlord first? That's a very strange thing to, to say. You mean I should play the bigger creature that makes other creatures before I play the creature that makes all my other creatures bigger? Solid strategy. <sighs> Nightmare Thirst? You're tapping one black and you, you made me lose a life first. You just killed a bat? Targeting the horse. Do you have two? Oh, because they gained a life from that. Oh, wow. Sure. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, I haven't seen Mission Impossible Fallout just because I haven't seen, like, many. I've seen, like, the first Mission Impossible and then, like, very few others after that. So, I haven't, I don't really have, like, the Mission Impossible, I haven't kept up with the Mission Impossible mythos, so to speak. At uh, this game, we, we've, we've won handily, as you can see. Boy, that was pre presumptuous, wasn't it? We won handily. We're still in the middle of the game. How can you even claim that? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, sorting the cards in hand by order. I actually do do that a lot of the times. Um, I, I don't think I've done it recently. I don't know why. But, yeah, I know what you're, I know what you're saying. I definitely am a... What do you call it? I'm a regular of doing that as well, we'll say. Sup word. I like it. I like it. Yeah, this is pretty... This is a lot of damage. I don't know if you guys know. I can show you my alpha. Show you. Yep, you got it. That's the only block, huh? A bold strategy cotton. So considering they're playing black green... Uh, I feel pretty safe playing just one land out and keeping one card in hand. The only thing that can really uh, 
make us discard one card is like Fell Spectre or Psychic Symbiont. Fell Spectre. Nope, okay. Lich? Yeah, I'd be care of blood, sure. That's what I meant. I don't know why I said Lich. I'm thinking of Lich's Caress. <clears throat> but, uh... But alas, no. I feel like we're in good shape here. Oh, I know. Angel? Angel number two? Well, that's basically angel number two, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just going to actually win the game. <clears throat> Could have actually put Bonds on the Epic here, but... I mean, I only have two ground guys anyway. I don't know why you wouldn't block with Epic here. Yeah, that seems better. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is actually exactly lethal. Sure. All right, let's try again. Try again. Try. Try again. I think sleep. I keep wanting to add sleep in the deck. I just don't know if they cut though. Like our, I think our creatures are really good. I mean, we'll cut Ariel Engineer for sleep. Ariel and Tezzeret's good, but Tezzeret and Diamond Mare are the only two creatures that actually work with that. So. Luminous Bond seems fine against them. Why would it be bad? I mean, like, if we put on their 4-4s, four their whatever flyers they have. Nope, that didn't do anything. I'm going to keep this hand. We got a Tezzeret, and we have an Elvish Rejuvenator. Uh, if we, Depending on what land we hit off of the Rejuvenator. Anathema, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, that's even better. 18 lands. Okay, we we I think we're I think we're okay. We can play sleep and Tezzeret, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Magic Online, you're doing good. We're gonna get there. They missed the land drop. Okay, that could be good next turn. Actually, I'm pretty sure it will be. Don't whiff. Planes. <sighs> okay, okay. We can do this. We got the two. We can we can two one. Mind rot. Okay. Okay. Uh let's get rid of luminous bonds and Sleep. Uncle Fish Dinner, have a good night. Have a good uh, night afternoon, buddy. Gallant Cavalry. What's better here? We probably just actually want to play Elvish Rejuvenator in order to get Tezzeret on the board as quickly as possible. And if this hits us a swamp, it didn't, but it still hit us a Tezzeret land, and that's important. I think the rest of our hand goes very, very well at protecting Tezzeret, but once we can start Tezzeretting, that's pretty good. All right, that's actually fine. And, oh, that's actually very good, too. But we are going to play this and start plussing. Yep, them drawing, them spending their turn drawing a card is super good for us when we have six mana and Tezzeret out. Um, Natural is also pretty good against them, surprisingly. We only have one green, though. But I think we can actually naturalize this. Play Gallant Cavalry, make a guy. Yeah, this is actually pretty hard. I, I, I think even getting an emblem that says at the beginning of your end step, search your library for a permanent, put it on the battlefield, that actually seems pretty good for us. Even if... Uh, I don't know if it's better than just keeping Tezzeret on board and drawing two cards a turn, but... Yeah, this is pretty rough. I mean, like they're stuck on three. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feel terrible about it because, boy, do I know the uh, the perils of being stuck on lands. But 
My control instincts are full triggered. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to go walk my troll on Ambrose. Oh, BR back. I didn't, I didn't see the BRB. So now we can actually alpha here. I mean, if they want to block here, that's fine. Block here, block here, they take one, two, three, four, five. We start getting some damage in. Yeah, they're playing around make a stand here, which makes sense. There's no reason to lose your Neonate over one point when you're at 21 life. <laughs> Don't do it. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to play this guy. Sure. All right. I think I think the game's probably over at this point. Uh oh. Nightmare Thirst. Killing Psychic Symbiont? Sup, word. Don't do it. Thanks. I like it. I like it. Oh, the double. The double Nightmare Thirst in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, Tezzeret's going to start drawing us two cards a turn. If we choose to actually zero, because we have ultimate Thopters in hand. Angel? I'm tempted to just dig for two and try to find an Angel. I think we can. We didn't find an Angel. I asked Magic to send me an Angel, and they said, nah, too bad. It's a lot of card advantage that we're amassing. Watch the next card was Angel. We have two Angels in the deck. Nope, next card was a land. So that was three lands. We drew a land for the turn. Two lands off of Tezzeret and then a land after that as well. Man. And the magic... MTGO was mad about that eating your behind comment earlier. Yeah, well... All right. Kill a Thopter. Seems fair. Angel? Diamond Mare. Hmm. What we can do is play Diamond Mare. Uh, draw... I'm going to name White still. Draw two. One, two, three, four. Play another green. One, two, three, four. Patrol. Go to combat. Okay. This is pretty strong. I've that that's troubling. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Put it on this guy. Now you got that vigilance and float. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. <clears throat> we played a land, we activated Tezzeret. Alright, so we did all the things, the, all the requisite things. I mean, this deck was sweet. Uh, I think if we drew enough lands to an, a, a, you know, that an 18 deck land that you'd expect to draw from an 18 land deck, we would have been in better shape, but. 
Rabid Bite. Okay. Will you send me an angel? <clears throat> I'm just going to keep drawing cards here because if we're drawing three cards a turn, it's. I feel like it's a good place to be, especially when we have uh, five power in the air already. I don't actually know how many uh, how many creatures we should commit to the board. I think we're actually good. I don't think there's actually they don't really have anything, right? Like there's there's only cleansing Nova and Plague Mare that could really go wide and wipe any sort of board. So I guess we just actually just run out Centaur Courser. I guess we will just play both because it leaves us. We only have five on board. They're going to go to at least six because of this. Maybe more if they play a black card. So I'd actually really like to be able to just alpha and go wide. <clears throat> Is Tesla actually good? I have no idea what you're asking me right now. Macabre Waltz getting back Epicure and Epicure. Okay, well, those are expensive. Those are those are pricey boys. I think that might be the end. Now we have to find Angel or there we go. We did it. One, two, three, four, five. That should do it. Unless they have Root Snare. But, I mean, we still get indestructible. Or, uh, not indestructible, Vigilance. Thank you so much for watching. really appreciate it. Sorry about the Salt earlier, but it's. I feel like I should draw more than three or four lands in the 18 land deck. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. You can, slam the, you can check out those links in the description. Slam those links in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.